morning, Valley, and happy Tuesday. So before we get a closer look on the weather, let's get an update on the tropics because they are active once again. So I'm going to step off screen so you can go ahead and get a closer look on what's going on. Now, we are monitoring two areas that could have further development within these next couple days. The first one is a tropical wave just off the coast of Africa, and it has a medium 40% chance of further development. And the second area is also a tropical wave, and it's a little bit closer to the Caribbean. It's right here and it's projected to make its way further north and west and it also has a 40% chance for the development. Now these two areas we're not really too concerned about because they're farther away from the Rio Grande Valley and there's a lot of things that could happen these next couple of days. However, we are still keeping a close eye on the tropics because the peak of hurricane season is right around the corner so this is not the time to put your guard down. This is actually the time to continue to get the most up-to-date information on the tropics. But for us, we're just monitoring the rain and storms that are going to filter in later on this afternoon and early evening but that's actually really good news because that's going to keep us from being hot so most of us will have high temperatures in the low 90s maybe the upper 80s for some depending if they get a lot of cloud cover and rain but some of the storms that filter in are just general thunderstorms for the entire Rio Grande Valley so we're not really too concerned with a severe threat however we could experience some rumbles of thunder see some lightning strikes maybe experience some gusty winds, but like I said, the severe threat is relatively low, not at zero, but low. And for rainfall totals, some of us could have a good amount of rainfall totals these next couple days, anywhere from one to seven inches. And of course, localized higher totals could be possible. And that's why we have a level one out of four marginal risk for excessive rain all the way until Thursday, because some of these storms could produce pockets of heavy rainfall, especially since some of them could be slow moving as we head into these next couple days. So remember to pack the rain gear, drive a little bit on the slower end, and give yourself some extra time before heading out the door.